Looking for things to do in DC? I talked to DC delegate Eleanor Holmes Norton for an insider scoop of five free things to do in the city. Whether you're visiting over the summer or in the winter, these places are worth checking out. So what are five things around DC that you recommend to tourists when they're visiting? Highlight this year is likely to be the African American Museum because so far that has had the most visitors. It's easy to see why. This museum opened in September and is DC's newest must-see attraction. It stands on the mall with 12 exhibits throughout five floors. The historical part of the museum includes the slavery era, Civil War, Reconstruction, and the Civil Rights Movement. The cultural part of the museum includes everything from Congressman John Lewis to President Barack Obama. We hope people will also find their way into the neighborhoods of D.C. This is a historic city. They can come to Capitol Hill, for example, to the historic Eastern Market. Eastern Market is about a 15-minute walk from the Capitol and a great place for tourists to stop for lunch. Inside, there are vendors selling flowers, fresh fruit, fresh fish, and meat. They can go to Kenilworth Gardens. How many cities have a Kenilworth Garden which is so uh, unusual that it had national publicity uh, this year? And the gardens do stand out, mostly because of their colorful collection of water lilies. Civil War veteran Walter Shaw brought the flowers to D.C. from his home in Maine, and they were added to the Anacostia Park community in the mid-1990s. I particularly want people to come this year uh, as we prepare for the bicentennial of Frederick Douglass's birth to another National Park Service site, Cedar Hill, his home here in D.C., Everyone understands he was a great abolitionist. He also was a great proponent of equal rights for the citizens of the District of Columbia. Douglas spent the last 17 years of his life in this house in Anacostia. You can take a guided tour to see his bedroom, study, and living space. And you have to check out the view. It's built on a hill overlooking the Washington Monument and the Capitol Dome. And do you recommend tours in the Capitol when people visit? Uh, that, that is to recommend the obvious. Tours <laughs> of the Capitol uh, will, be, will come through their representative. Every member of Congress will most likely suggest this, but is a must-see for visitors. Capitol tours can be conducted by guides with Capitol Visitor Center, as well as staffers from offices for constituents. Both types of tour guides have extensive knowledge of the buildings and the various statues, art, and historical rooms inside it.